A multiplayer Zelda game is quite a hard thing to pull off, but Nintendo came pretty close when they made Four Swords and Four Swords Adventures. I say pretty close because these games aren't completely perfect multiplayer experiences, nor is the underwhelming 2015 release Triforce Heroes. But I truly believe that potential is present in all of these games, and I really think it's about time that Nintendo bring a multiplayer Zelda experience to the Switch. It's a no-brainer in my opinion, and I'd love to share some of the ideas I have for this game. My name is Chris, you're watching Blue Shell, and here's what I think Nintendo should do if they ever make a Four Swords for the Switch. I must clarify why I would prefer Four Swords on the Switch as opposed to its spiritual successor, Triforce Heroes. My biggest reason being is because limiting a multiplayer experience to only three players is just a bit lame. Yeah, not everyone is going to have three other friends to play with, but that's fine as Four Swords doesn't actually require four people to play. You could play it by yourself if you really wanted to, whereas Triforce Heroes doesn't really offer a very fun single player experience. Another reason as to why I'd prefer a Four Swords game on the Switch is just because I generally prefer the Four Swords games, and I think they offer a better blueprint on how to make a multiplayer Zelda experience more than Triforce Heroes does. However, that doesn't mean I think Triforce Heroes should be completely neglected here. Triforce Heroes has good ideas and elements that I think could be mastered in a Four Swords game for the Switch. In Triforce Heroes, the links can form a totem, which basically means that all three of them can stand on each other's heads. This was actually a cool idea and added some more depth to the puzzles depth that wasn't really present in the Four Swords games. Now don't get me wrong, I still love the Four Swords games, but I think they focused more on action as opposed to puzzle solving. Puzzle solving was still a huge element of the Four Swords games, obviously, that's the case with any Zelda game, but I found Triforce Heroes to be far more puzzle focused. The focus on puzzles was also a downside to Triforce Heroes for me. The levels just ended up getting stale really quickly, and even when I was playing with friends I just ended up feeling a bit bored. There was so much focus on the totem ability and the puzzles that all the levels started to feel a bit samey. What I think Nintendo should do if they ever make a Four Swords game for the Switch is find a perfect blend between co-op puzzle solving and co-op action. Include the totem ability, but have it be less of a focus because while it did add depth to the puzzles, it got really annoying really fast, especially in single player mode. I think one of the best things about Four Swords and Four Swords Adventures is how well they work not only as multiplayer games, but also as single player games. And I think Nintendo should focus on making an equally as enjoyable single player experience for Four Swords on the Switch. Triforce Heroes was really lacking when it came to a good single player experience. Controlling all three links by yourself was such a chore when it was the opposite of a chore in Four Swords Adventures. All four links moved together in Four Swords Adventures, and you could easily change their formation with just the press of a button. Just an idea, but perhaps the totem ability should return as a type of formation? Anyway, I think making sure that the game is fun to play alone is pretty crucial here, as unfortunately, not everyone has friends. How could Nintendo go about making an engaging single player experience? Well, as long as they follow in the footsteps of the Four Swords games as opposed to Triforce Heroes, then I'm sure they'll be able to create something good. Graphics aren't super important, especially for a game like Four Swords, but I did get thinking. What would a Four Swords game for the Switch even look like? I'm willing to bet that it would follow the same art style as Wind Waker, but would the game be 2D like Four Swords in Four Swords Adventures? I'm honestly not sure. Odds are that the game would use 3D environments and character models, but will have that classic Zelda bird's eye perspective. But I wouldn't even be mad if Nintendo decided to make the game 2D in a similar vein to say Cadence of Hyrule. I think that would be pretty cool personally. But let me know what you think down in the comments below, as I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I think it's quite obvious by now that if Nintendo made a Four Swords game for the Switch, that online multiplayer would be an absolute must. Plenty of people have friends from all over the world, so it would be a huge bummer if Nintendo decided to make it local multiplayer only, but I highly doubt that would happen. Triforce Heroes featured online multiplayer, but I think it would be cool if Nintendo decided to step it up a notch. What about online matchmaking? It would be great if you could play through levels with random people across the world, but I think it would also be great if Four Swords on the Switch featured more modes, perhaps more competitive modes. Four Swords Adventures featured a mode called Shadow Mode, and there was also a versus player mode present in Triforce Heroes called the Colosseum. These modes should make a comeback alongside other new ones. If you have any ideas for modes, let me know in the comments. I have a few more ideas of what Nintendo could do for online play. First of all, I think it would be so cool if you could design your own Link. 
With other online Nintendo games, there's more choice with who you can play as. There are plenty of characters to play as in Smash Bros and Mario Kart, but in Four Swords there is only Link. So I think letting people design their own Link would be a fun way to make online play a more personal experience, if that makes any sense. Now this is probably my most wild idea, but what if players could design their own levels and upload them online? This would mean that there would be endless levels to play with your friends and also players from all over the world. Yes, this would be quite chaotic, but it'd be a fun chaos for sure. Now that's all I have time for today. Would you like to see Four Swords on the Switch? Because I know I would. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to us on Blue Shell if you haven't already. We work really hard to produce quality videos like this one and your support would mean the world. Anyway, I'm Chris, you've been watching Blue Shell, and I'll see you guys very soon.